All right, finally, I finished my live stream and I am free to really dig into these golden skins and see what's different about them after this golden perks update. Because I made my video yesterday and immediately everybody was freaking out about the golden pyro. Here, let me show you what I mean. Let's go into this video and look at some of the comments. The first thing I want to point out is one of my highest voted comments here from Tim Pop Productions. They say, just so you know, the towers themselves were not changed. The golden skins are basically the evolved towers. Towers now. Golden skins, golden perks, and evolved towers are all very different things. I don't want to get into what exactly the evolved towers were right now in this video, but I will tell you that Below Natural, the TDS game creator, did make a post about this. Oh wait, no, I'm <laughs> sorry. It was Raz. I'm sorry, Raz, not Below. I see a few people asking, are the evolved towers scrapped? Okay, so these are two different things. Evolved towers, golden perks, two completely different things. And he goes on to say here that no, they are not. The golden perks exist to encourage players to use use other skins than just the golden ones and I'm assuming what he means here is that they are still working on the evolved towers and those are going to come out at some other point. I'll make a separate video about that digging into it a little bit more but right now I do want to focus on here let me see. There we go. Epic Poggers Doge says from what I've heard apparently the Pyromancer can see hiddens now. This is a huge change to the Pyro. The Pyromancer has always been one of the worst towers in the game. I don't think anybody would argue with that. So the fact that they're giving it hidden detection is definitely going to increase its usability. Now, if they could just give it flying detection, and here's another example. S. Prandle says, let me just say that the Golden Pyro is actually good now. And then A8 Key goes on to say, I won't want to use Pyro, which is what I did say yesterday. I said I wasn't going to use it, but that was before I knew. He says, dude, you're missing out. Pyro is OP, now able to do early game very well. So this is what I'm interested in. I basically want to go into a game and see how good the Golden Pyro is, because my buddy Frost Spirit sent this picture in the discord this morning and you can see right here that he has killed the molten boss right here in rocket arena and he's only using pyro for damage so i'm gonna see if i can recreate this victory if you could do this with pyro now that is massive and it also means that the damage has been increased so going in to check out the tds uh, wiki page to look at the pyromancer damage you can see that they have temporarily removed the golden stats so that isn't really that big of a deal i can tell you from this video that i made comparing the gold golden and the regular towers and you can see that the buffs for the golden pyro are just 25% damage and 50% range which seem decent until you actually go look at the pyromancer stats it doesn't even get normal damage until level two and even then it's just one at level two and level three and then at levels four and five it's two so if you're adding a 25% damage buff to that that's only 2.5 damage not a huge increase it's not really going to change the dps which as you can see right here is pretty low now what i am really interested in for this video is how the prices have changed, how the damage has changed, how the range has changed. Did they just give this tower hidden detection or did they actually buff it to the point where it's going to be doing more than 23.75 DPS at max level? So let's go ahead and jump into a game and find out. Oh boy, this is uh, kind of exciting. I haven't tried to solo molten in quite a while. Now up until this update, I've always considered the pyro a support tower. But if this thing is actually able to hold its own, at least for the first eight or nine or ten waves that's a solid starting tower and that's why this is a really big deal because this change could actually be pushing the pyro into a whole new category and what i personally really like about it is the fact that it just gives us some more variety in the gameplay we're able to use some towers that we've been ignoring for a long time even though they may have certain perks like the golden pyro does really well against enemies that have a defense stat so if we can use something like that to bring down the defense and also do some damage early game that is a game changer for the usefulness of this specific tower. All right, here goes the first pyro. Let's see how it does. Just frying everyone. So if we upgrade to level one, we're going to go from seven to 11 range. Oh, snap. It already has hidden. I didn't realize that. So at level zero, it has hidden detection. That is really cool. I think I just came up with a new question. How far can I solo with one pyro? Right now uh, at level two, he will be getting defense melting and the damage will be going from one to two and it's costing $500. Compare that to the regular stats here and the uh, the level 2 upgrade. It looks like it does cost $500 and it does uh, a drop the defense and it would also be getting plus 1 damage. So you can see here with the regular pyro. So this is, okay, so this is actually going to be a 100% damage buff now for the golden pyro over the regular pyro. Because if the regular pyro is doing 1 damage and the golden pyro is doing 2, that is double the damage or a 100% 
100% boost. So let me go ahead and upgrade this bad boy now. And at level two, yep, we've still got the 11 range, two damage, and now upgrading it to, okay, hold on. I got to place a few of these because I'm going to take a lot of damage here. Oh yeah, they're melting. Look at that. Two of them together because they're both able to hit the zombies. Wow, they did way more damage than just the uh, single pyromancer. All right, let's compare uh, the level two golden pyro to the level two and three regular pyro. Now at level three, we're going to be getting three damage. Yeah, so they definitely have increased the damage, which increases the damage per second. Now at level three, we're going to be having three damage instead of one or two. And we get our first round of hiddens to show up. Let me go ahead and upgrade both of these just so I can make sure I don't die here. Just destroying. Nice. Yeah, because the hiddens are pretty weak. The real trick with those is you have to have something that can kill hiddens, which the pyro can do now. Oh, I also wanted to see the price difference. I believe it was 1200 to upgrade from level 2 to level 3, which is exactly what it is for the regular pyro. And the next upgrade would be 3800. Let's check in game. It is 3800. Okay, so the upgrade prices for the regular pyro versus the golden pyro are going to be exactly the same. That is really good for people with the golden buff. You're not going to have to use that golden skin anymore to get the buff. You can use whatever you want, and it is going to do a lot more damage. It's going to make the tower useful, whereas when you don't have the golden skin, it's just not that great. So here, going from level 3 to level 4, you're going to get 4 damage, a 13 range, along with all these fire stats increasing. Let's go check the wiki. The damage uh, at level 4 is 2, but now it's going to be 4, uh, and the range is 9, but now it's going to be, what is it again? It's going to be 13. And you can see here in Molten that just 2 of these level 4 Pyromancers are handling pretty much anything just melting these normal bosses before they get even get through one of the really good benefits for this tower is it's piercing and so it's not just shooting the first enemy <laughs> it's shooting um the enemies that are right behind that one that was amazing how fast they just killed the 250 health necromancer all right those molten shouldn't be too tough even though <laughs> they're all fire it's all fire shouldn't they like not get hurt by fire all right now rolling into the final upgrade level five it's going to be 7500 bucks which is actually accurate. That's what it is over here. And it's going to do six damage. The range is going to stay at 13. You're going to get more burn damage, longer burn time. It's just going to increase the burning effects. Now, again, look at the regular pyro. At level five, it would only have a two damage and an 11 range. We're going to have a six damage and a 13 range. And so if you're just taking this number and uh, figuring out the DPS based on that, then it really triples. So this is not accurate. It would actually be, there's no way. Hold on. I must be, I'm doing these calculations wrong. This DPS definitely takes into account the uh, the fire, which I can't figure out exactly what it is now until the wiki up updates with those numbers. I think it's safe to say the DPS could reasonably be twice as high. So around 50 DPS for this tower? That is not bad. Okay, so that basically covers the stats and how it's improved. I have just two of these here burning and they have taken away almost half the health of this slow boss. I'm going to go ahead and spam a bunch of uh, pyros right in this area since I already updated all of my ducky farms. How are they doing going through the gauntlet? The necromancer is dead. The slow boss is getting through. All of these pyros are at level zero though. So that's not saying much. We really got to melt this guy. This guy's got uh, a thousand health left. We got to kill him before he gets through. Feel the burn. It's like he's in the oven. Hey, who ordered the toasty slow boss? Plays laugh track. <laughs> Here we got a hidden boss trying to get through, getting absolutely decimated. Bruh, these front pyros are killing everything before they can even get to this middle area. Oh no, we got speedy boss. Let me use call to arms. And the flames look really cool too. Wow, they killed him so fast. I honestly cannot believe that this is the golden pyro performing this well right now. That was the first golden skin I ever got. And I remember being so upset about it. There are even people to this day that are like, man, I got golden pyro as my first golden skin. I don't think you guys should be complaining about that anymore. Look at this. This is three speedy bosses running through with 1800 health each. And they're dead before they even get anywhere near the exit. Man, the pierce is just coming in so clutch right now. I bet you could speed run with this setup. Just because of that piercing ability, the pyro would be able to do a lot of damage to a big group of enemies. Like, look at this right here. This is really worst case scenario for the enemies. Okay, here's the strongest enemy I've had to fight so far. The 3000 health mystery summoner. 
and he's dead. All right, the 3,500 health Molten Titan is also dead. This is looking really good. And here we go, starting the final wave. Let's see if this army can take down the Molten King because the fact is that none of the enemies have been a challenge at all. The Molten Boss has stunned the front pyros. Let's use the Medic ability. Yes, let's get some Carnage, maximum Carnage going here on the Molten Boss. Slash King. Oh shoot, I forgot to do I forgot to press commander call to arms. No! I need to win this. I need to win. Please. Ah, uh, he keeps stunning people. I wonder if I should use I think I'm gonna use the medic's stun clearing ability and then replace her so I have it immediately. Wow, look at that. Just crossing through this gauntlet right here, and he's lost almost half his health. Here we go. This is the moment of truth. Unstun the pyros. Let's see how much damage we could do. Go, 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 go. Melt, melt, melt. Cook him. Cook him. Make him crispy. 20,000 health left. This is actually really exciting. I think we're going to do it. I think we're going to do it easily. Yo, let's go. <laughs> Definitely possible now to wait. Did he just stun? No, he just stunned my army. No. Get wrecked, dude. You can't stop the Pyromancer army. Unbelievable. The TDS devs have finally taken one of the most useless towers in the game and given it a purpose. It is 100% absolutely due to this six damage right here. That is incredible. Oh my gosh. I have to do a new Golden Towers ranking video. <laughs> I think Soldier is officially in last and Pyro might be in the top three. All right, time for round two. This time I'm going to see how far I can go on Fall in mode. I have every pyro that's out right now upgraded. Let me go ahead and spam some more. Come on, please, please, please. Please do a lot of damage. I'm not even going to track it. Nah, see, it only did 2,000 damage with him running through. If you were using something to slow the tank down, like the Toxic Gunner or a Freezer or Sledger, you could definitely get past this wave. Yeah, not bad at all. That's exactly what I expected to. All right, now y'all know the true power of the pyro. Let me know what you guys think about the new and improved pyro down in the comments because I actually think it's amazing. Now, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash that like button with your nose, hit that subscribe button with your big toe, and turn on notifications however you can so you don't miss any of my amazing upcoming content. And I will see you guys next time. Take care, be safe, and never forget what I always say. What are these guys doing?